What's going on guys? So there's the Nova. I put some video together today, but Hans has got to edit it up for you guys. Bunch of driving around, some downtown stuff, stuff like that. But uh, no work today. Didn't get much done. Was at the doctor's most of the day. This stuff's getting like black pudding eye. But anyway, uh, nine weeks. I got nine weeks to finish everything in the garage. Because that's the next uh, surgery, nine weeks from now. So I took Paint by to uh, Scooter today to let him check that uh, car out. And uh, he wanted to know if I was going to spray it out. You know, I drove all the way to Orlando and dropped him the can off. And he wants to know if I'm going to come back down there, pick it up, and bring it back here and spray it out and clear it. And no, you need to shake the can up, you know, look at the lid. That would give you a good idea of uh, what the color is. And uh, hopefully it's close, and if it's not close, just run on down to seconds and buy the color you want and bring it on out, and we'll spray this car. Because uh, I'm done with the circle jerking on this Volkswagen, you know. You guys want it painted, you're going to pick a color, you can bring me some paint, and uh, if you don't bring it in the next week or two, it ain't going to get done. Nine weeks is nine weeks, and after nine weeks I won't be doing this no more, so... So, uh, so yeah, so if you watch the video, the time is now, as Milo would say. So, uh, I'm sure I'll get my shit done in nine weeks. I'm, I'm real positive of that. So, we'll be out here tomorrow, you know, putting the hammer to the metal, or the metal to the hammer, or the pedal to the metal, whatever it is, and, uh, trying to get it done, because, uh, Dr. Wu says no more stuff, man. He says I've been uh, working the body too hard and uh, this is it. So apparently I got to get this done. Going to have uh, some fusion work done, I guess. I don't know. They're going to put some hardware down there. Reconstruct my uh, lower back. Three through five. Yep, three through five. That's what the paper said. So, yep, nine weeks to get it done. So uh, that's what we're looking at. That's this one, that one, and uh, anything that's heavy, the Bronco. The Bronco's almost finished, so hopefully Hans will get uh, out from behind the keyboard and get out in the garage and start getting some of this crap going. Plus, I'd like to get this thing going and have my bus painted, too. So I'm going to be busy, busy. So, yep, but uh, hell, man, I know what color I want my stuff, I think, you know, so that's where I'm at. Just can't believe people can't pick a color, you know? What is that all about, you know? So, uh, yeah. So that's where I'm at, that's what I did today. I got the good news from the doctor there, you know? And uh, he gave he gave Andrea a hard, hard time, so that was pretty cool. I got to watch her get a hard time. He thinks she might have a hearing issue because she talks too loud. And I told him she's been talking loud like that for 25 years. So, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Andrea needs a hearing check, and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he was having a good old time with her. So that's what we did today, and uh, of course we got to get this squared away. That's what I can do in my spare time. So, <laughs> but uh, yep, that's where we're at. Somebody said that uh, Ospro is phosphoric acid. So, uh, it's going to. Uh, Try to find the ingredients on this. And uh Corrosive liquid, vapors and hail, CMSDS sheet for additional. So I'll go online and I'll see what the chemical makeup of this stuff is. And I've never had any experience with the uh with the acid. Now I've heard a couple guys in the garage talk about that stuff, but I've never seen them actually uh you know use it and what the results are. So, I know this stuff is one of those products, you know, that's been consistent along the years. It's always done the same thing, you know, turns this stuff black like this. And uh, I've seen other guys in the garage use different stuff that I've never seen. So, uh, rust converter and stuff, I've never actually, you know, I don't even sell that, to be perfectly honest with you. In six years that we've uh, been selling paint, nobody's ever bought rust converter from us, you know. Uh, usually. You know, they buy a metal prep or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Somebody tries that, uh, 
you know, the vinegar and water thing out and it doesn't rust the panel, do a video of it not turning the panel yellow because I'd like to check that out. Maybe I'm just mixing it wrong. I don't know the wrong ratio. But, uh, yeah, I used some straight vinegar on something. You know, I didn't put any water in it, just used some vinegar and, uh, it didn't really clean too good. I was trying to clean the, uh, this gas tank, well, the crash gas tank, the one that fell into my car. So I basically did what uh, that guy recommended, the Ahuben. I used some diesel fuel and I put some, uh, I just went and got some nuts and washers and shook it really good. And it broke all that loose stuff uh, up. And uh, you know, what was left was sort of shiny pitted metal that the diesel fuel sort of filled up with the oil or whatever's in it. So. All right, I'm gonna keep this one short. I gotta come out here and clean up the shop. And uh, it's Friday night. And Andrea's out shuttling the kids all over the place. One's going to my mom's and Hans is helping her get a desk because she can't ever say no, you know? Women can't say no to free furniture. And uh, she's getting a desk that she could barely pick up. So uh, I don't know how she's gonna get it in the back of the truck. It's that a Girl Scout thing at the church. And uh, I don't know how we're going to get it in the house once we get it here. It sounds like you need a crane to move it. So we'll see. Might get some good videos on that. That might be funny. So got cats. Everybody needs a cat, you know, four black cats. Black cats, black cats, special on black cats.